uh, is this recording yeah so hello guys uh, let me just tone down the music so hello guys this is Shashank the developer of the AI player mod and I wanted to make this video to show you what exactly new this the features is in this version of the mod and frankly there are a lot actually i mean even if it doesn't seem initial glance so i'll go and quickly spawn our bot here first of all the command for spawning bot has changed so you type bot spawn bot's name and now you need to input a mode so we just leave it like let's say hello you will get a usage command you know, which shows you how to properly use the command. Bot spawn speed. Uh, okay, he spawned outside. Yeah. So, for training purposes, I have already given Steve the regeneration effect because Steve will need that. So. So uh, let me give some. Okay, so first of all, you can see what items he has. But get hot for items. Right now he has nothing. So let me give Steve some equipment. Now, as I said that I in this mod the bot can actually learn, uh, you know, to how to deal in certain situations. And one of these situations is when there's a hostile entity around the bot, like zombie husk. Uh, I'll just assume zombie and husk right now because creeper gives you a very less reaction time. So I'll get there later, and I'll add in a specific case on how to deal with skeletons and endermen. But you may seem that this is hard coded, but this is actually not because the bot only has access to what it can do, like you know what it may it can jump, it can move left, right, and stuff like that. It knows how to interact with the world, but it doesn't know what to do in certain situations. And the hope is that with the algorithm I have created, the bot will eventually learn how to deal with certain situations. And I'll come out here because you can see the logs then as to what action it takes. Uh, yeah. Oh no 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 no! What seriously, Minecraft? But yeah, you can see the bot is already starting to. So you can see the bot is already starting to learn because this is because I have trained in some time for some time actually and now it's trying to put on armor. Wow. So 
So in the logs you can see that it's constantly trying to move backward because it knows apparently that this is a hostile mob and I must get away. But thing is, uh, since this is a super flat world and and with carpet, the way how the movement system works is that she will just continue going backward and backward and probably won't stop and I'll have to stop him manually. I'm still trying to figure out the how the exact movement system works to get in you know, precise movement key control like W A S D but until I get there I guess I'll have to work with this. Now it chose an action attack. Okay. Let me help him out. A little. This is like a small problem with movement, I guess. Uh, uh, yep. Uh, So now it's not doing anything. So yeah, things will things are going to take time for the bot to get there. Uh, Let's speed this up. Uh, uh, This is weird. The bot is trying to attack, but the attack is not working. Let me try this. No, I'll leave the chicken. Yeah, okay. See? I think it was not able to hit the baby chicken because of the hitbox, actually. And, I mean, sorry, the baby husk. Go, go, Steve, you got this. And I guess Steve has learned how to deal with hostile entities. So this is just a demo of how things will be eventually because as you saw how uh, Steve managed to learn uh, I mean Steve I mean the bot uh, I mean I know this is not Steve's skin but yeah. so managed to learn how to deal with hostile entities so I will be adding more triggers on you know how to deal with situations I mean Steve can most definitely detect uh, danger zones as well which I wanted to show you here um uh let's trigger the bot detect danger zone steve oh yeah i need to specify the range as well this range is for detecting lava range and cliff range and the depth of cliffs it should detect 
and it detected some danger and as you can see in the logs it detected uh, it didn't detect a cliff because it's not like straightforward in front of it uh, let me just teleport it here and let's try again uh, and it still didn't detect some cliffs no worries let me try and let me increase the range and now it detected a cliff i mean how it categorizes cliff is because essentially you will just you know there is nothing underneath and you will just fall off so and since i've made this command to be customized so eventually i hope like in future iterations i the bot will be able to configure its own range and figure out where uh, danger zones are basically so yeah that's the hope I mean, one guy can only do so much, but I, I gotta keep going. So, and uh, there was this command as well. Bot equip armor. Oh, Steve. And yeah, that's how it was able to put on armor. I designed this part myself and yeah. So, that's all for this mod, I guess. No, actually, I should show the remaining commands. Like, you can get the hunger level of the bot. It's 16 right now, so it's hungry. A bit. You can also get the oxygen level, which is 300. I mean, this is more useful in underwater scenarios. And get selected item oh i keep forgetting my own command damn but let's say if you were to player space bar one and now if you get the selected item you got diamond sword so yeah that's how stuff works over here so good work steve and i guess i will be seeing you guys in another video when i post the next update of this mod thank you for all the support you guys have given so far all the shares all the views it uh, really means a lot because when i started this project initially uh, way back in august i guess when i was still dreaming about you know how i can achieve um i really didn't expect that i will come this far honestly that I will be able to at least do what at least I'll be able to achieve what the bot did today you know in terms of artificial intelligence in game dev so yeah it, it really means a lot guys thank you thank you all from the bottom of my heart and so peace